Well, anybody that's been watching my channel will know I've been trying to get these Pixie Burst colours to work with resin. And I just couldn't get them to work. And I love them. They're brilliant colours. I did do a video on it, which was a complete disaster. I will link that at the end of this one. <laughs> it's quite a fun one to watch to see a disaster. But I've had an idea. Now, I don't know if this is going to work or not. I wondered if I use some cotton, which is porous. Then add the Pixie Burst to the top of that. And then let it dry. But I'm going to wet the cotton first before I do anything else. And wring it out, I don't want it sopping wet. I'm gonna add a little bit of water in here, and this is just plain water, nothing fancy smancy added to it at all. And chuck my cotton in. And I've cut these up, these are 100% cotton. Now the first one I'm gonna try, I'm gonna wring it out quite well. Lay it down there, shake up me pixie burst. And this is the Firefly Glow, and see what happens. Okay, we'll leave that on there. That looks like it's coming out quite dark. But what I'm also going to do is do a little bit of a mist over the top. And this is the mist that I use for my air plants. And I think doing that, it's not going to move around the colours too much. And then what I'm going to do is leave this one like that, hanging on the line to dry. And then we'll come back to that. I'm going to do another one in this colour as well to see which one I like the best. But before that, I am gonna clean this mess up. Although, thinking about it, maybe I'll wring one out and do it slightly differently. So I'll wring that out there like that. I'll wipe this mess up like that. Get rid of all that lovely mouth. Now I'm gonna spray on the mat, which obviously isn't at all porous. Put some colors down on this mat like that. Give another spray, leave that for a couple of minutes and then see what happens. See if the colours run or anything happens and then lay this cloth over the top. Okay, so we've got that. Now what I'm doing is I'm laying me cloth over the top of that, letting the colours soak into that, tapping it down a little bit so it's covered all the way. And then we can peel that up. Oh, that's quite pretty. And go and hang that one up. And then I'm going to do the same with the other colours, which are the Very Berry and the Black Cherry. Well, these are all dry and I've ironed them as well. And the reason I've ironed them is I'm not sure if ironing them will help them be more colour fast when I put them in resin. But it might not. Who knows? So that's one of them. That was the Very Berry. And actually, that one came out quite pretty. And I only used a real small amount on that one. Where on these ones, I think I've used too much. Although, I do like it. I think it looks really quite pretty. And the same with the fiery one. I think that one's come out nice. I did do some other swatches to see if I could improve in it. And I have done. I've started to get a little bit better in them. So it's worth having a go, I think, well, so far. So these are the three that I've decided I'm going to use and I'm gonna try them in a coaster. And I'm gonna cut all these little frayed edges off as well from them, because I don't want them there. And I'm not gonna have squared corners, I'm gonna have roundish corners. I'm not trying to make it look perfect like a circle or anything like that. Might help if I had some sharper scissors. So something like that. And then I'm going to take off all the frayed bits as well. And for the resin, I'm going to be using this one. I'm going to be using the T-Expert Epoxy Crystal Clear. I love this resin. I buy it in these big gallons and it's about $80. And you can't beat it. It's brilliant resin. We've got my resin mixed up now. And all I'm going to do is put a little bit of this in the bottom of each of my coaster moulds. And if you're wondering how I got my resin so bubble free then that's because I have it in my bubble extractor machine that I did a video on and it works brilliantly. I use it all the time. I've got some on the go at the moment as we speak for another project look. Oh, it's such a godsend. Check out that video. I'll link it at the end of this one. And anybody that uses resin needs to get one of these. They are absolutely brilliant. So what I'm going to do is spread that one out. This is a bit misshapen, this mould. I don't know why. I'm pop that in and now what I'm going to do is put my cotton in. Now I know cotton works really well in resin because I made some cotton ghosts with it several years ago and did a video on it so that's on my channel somewhere. <laughs> it came out brilliantly and I've used material in resin a lot over the years. I'm just hoping that these colours don't run. Now I want this to be all crinkled up and that's why I've given it that sort of shape and I want it to be very well soaked 
in and to fill the whole mold. So that's why I've moved it around like this. And now all I'm going to do is pat that down a little bit. Now I'm going to fill this up again with the rest of my resin that I've got in my little resin machine. Get rid of all the bubbles. I think that has actually come out really pretty. It looks darker on the camera, I can see on my monitors, than it is in real life. But we'll see what effect it has in here. Need a little bit more resin in that. There we go, that should do me. Pat that down everywhere. Again, bring that right to the edges. I want it to be right to the edges. Uh, looks pretty. And then the same for this one. I can fiddle and faff around with these all day. I just never, I, can't, I never know when to stop fiddling and faffing. Are you like that? Or is it just me? I am the messiest crafter and the fiddly and faffier crafter I think I've ever known. <laughs> right, I like those a lot. My bubbles are nearly finished coming out of my remaining resin. Now, I don't use these just the once, these cups. What I find is if you've got a cup like this and you've used it once and then it dries in there, it's often quite difficult to get the resin out. I just go in with a baby wipe and I find that that gets the resin out really well, cleans it up lovely, and I can use these cups full. 20 times. The only time I, when I stop using them is because I generally have broken them. Just a little extra tip for you there, people. I is a bit frugal. I have to be frugal. Just want to say a quick thank you to everybody that got me a coffee last month. Your names are coming up now on my coffee board. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. It is genuinely people like yourselves that keep this channel going. So thank you very much. And a big thank you to all of my members. The membership group is a great group. We have such a fun in there. There's additional videos behind the scenes stuff, extra support, loads of experts, and it's the friendliest group, I think, on Facebook. I'm sure my members would tell you that in the comments below as well. If you'd like to become a member, then the link for that is in the description below. I'd love to see you over there. So that'll be lovely and clean and easy to use again once it's dry next time I want to use it. So I'm going to add some more resin over the top of these and then set them to one side and let them cure up overnight. And then we can come back to them and we'll have a look and see what they look like. Hopefully they'll look pretty and won't have run, but who knows. Well, these have cured up and actually I stopped myself from filling them right up because I thought I quite like that, but I'm not sure that they're going to highlight enough. So what I've decided to do is use some of my chameleon powders here on my little sponge brushes just to go through and put some highlights on these top bits. Now these aren't really showing but they may show a little bit better once they're demolded and their blue's not showing through. So this is the galaxy one that I've used on there and I think that's highlighted that up quite well. Look. And then I'm going to use the blue on this one and the magenta on this one then fill them up with resin and let them cure and then we can have a look what they look like i love these chameleon powders i was very late to the party on these but i do like them i will link them in the description below so don't worry if you want to get hold of them that won't be a problem so all i'm doing is just going through wherever there's any raised bits and putting some of this color on so i got my resin mixed up now and all i'm going to do is pour this in hopefully it's not going to trap any bubbles because I've had this in my bubble removing machine. Check out my video on that. I'll go over and pop any bubbles that I've caused and that have come up to the top like this and now I will leave this to cure up overnight and then we can see what's happened to that cotton and how it all looks once it's finished. Well these are all cured up now and they're lovely and hard but to use them as coasters I would still wait about four weeks till they're Fully, fully cured. Now this one has come out really interesting. I love the contrast of the colours in the background from the Pixie Burst. And I really like how it's come out on the top with the Chameleon Powder. And the same for this one and that one. I think adding the Chameleon Powder really made a difference. But the proof is in the pudding when we've taken these out of the actual mould. Because we won't see the colour of the mould as well. So let's look at this one again. Yep. Loving that. Really like that. That one has got quite an interesting finish to it. And so is that one. Let's look underneath. Oh, the underneath has come out really well. I love these trap bubbles. I think they look amazing in it. Now, sometimes trap bubbles can look amazing. And they really do look like they should have been there. Well, they should have been there because they're there. 
both sides of those I like, and they're very, very different. I'm still not 100% satisfied with the way that the pixie dust is working for me, but I do think I will keep practicing because once you get it right, I'm sure it's going to look amazing because it does look amazing on card, which is what it's designed for. As I said before in my previous video, it is no disrespect to that product because that product is amazing. I'm just trying to use it in a very different way than what it's intended for. Let me know in the comments what you think. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed this video and trying this out. Boot that like button and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.